The, the goal of the event is, um, you know, you, you read all sorts of doom and gloom about the PC industry these days. And, and what we really want to show is that there's a ton of excitement about the PC technology at the high end, which in fact is, is a really growing market. So, so we wanted to show that, we wanted to demonstrate that. Computex is a great place to do it because all the people are here, uh, all the overclockers are here, so, so it was a great time to have the event. We have 10 teams here with two guys per team, um, and we're, we're offering a total of $20,000 uh, in cash prizes, which is very large for an overclocking contest like this. Uh, half the prizes, or, or actually uh, more than half the prizes, go to a uh, competition where everybody uses hardware that we provide them, so it's a very level play, playing field. Gives everybody a chance to win, even the guys who aren't sponsored. Um, and then we have another part of the contest that allows guys who are sponsored, who have special hardware, to really show some really high scores. Sure. So the event, we brought in uh, 10 overclocking teams, uh, a, a mix of people from both factory and amateur style. We are doing about $20,000 USD in total of, uh, payout. And we split it up two ways. About two thirds of it we're paying out on equipment that we provided, and the other third we're paying out on equipment that they can bring an overclock that they provided. The reason we did it that way is we wanted to have the overclockers show their skill on the parts that they had never played with before. So it was kind of a, a level or playing field. Uh, we gave them all 4770Ks or the Core i7-4770Ks, which is our flagship product for fourth gen. Uh, it's our number one overclocking processor as far as performance and it's what we launched this morning. So we're, we're happy to have this out there, the fourth gen. Well, I mean, the overclockers are, are, are promoting memory most of all because that's what generates the speed. But, but if you look at an overclocker station, you see a power supply, you see fans, um, you see SSDs. So it's, and it's all Corsair gear. So we're supporting these guys with all that stuff. We wanted to, to give prizes in a variety of categories, and we wanted to, to have part of the contest where we gave out the hardware, so it was a completely level playing field, but we wanted to have another part of the contest that would allow people to bring the parts that they've tweaked and, and, and work with that and hit some really high scores. So, so and just as we did added up the math, the, what made sense uh, just seemed like a good number. <laughs> You'll notice a lot of the guys that are here are from motherboard companies or at least some ecosystem vendor company. So we give those guys CPUs so they can test their equipment as they're developing. We know they're going to give it to their people. We don't say, go do it. And we don't tell them, please stop doing it because we know it's going to happen. And it helps the community. Uh, even though we know they're not supposed to have it before today, we all know they had it. We're happy they had it and we're very happy that they're getting the results they're getting because they've had it. For them to coming in with never seeing it would have been very difficult for them to do anything. We, we selected guys, uh, one that were gonna be here for the show and two that were, that were setting high scores, that were setting world record scores. Now the fact is, um, a lot of these guys that are setting high scores work for companies. I mean, they're, they're really the equivalent of professional athletes. Uh, we have one guy, we have two guys actually working for Corsair, uh, Jake and Ronaldo, both of whom are world record setting overclockers. Uh, these guys, they make their living doing it. And, and we're fortunate, and, and most of these other companies are, that, that these guys are there that can help to engineer really high-end products for the, for the market. Because we did want an atmosphere that, that would be high energy, that would be exciting. Uh, we didn't want to be off in a gymnasium somewhere. We wanted to be someplace that people would be excited to be. And uh, this, this, uh, the Marquee Club here seemed like a great place for it. The reason we chose this, quite frankly, was we wanted it to be like a, uh, an event. So if we go into a big gymnasium, a big room, whatever, a big square room, everybody walks around the outside, there's some people standing in the middle. By having it in a club like this, we got everybody to kind of go to the same place. Everybody goes single file through. It looks packed. It looks, it looks more fun. We play the music. We have the bar. You can have some drinks. By having it in a place like this, it makes it more of a celebration than just putting it into a big square room somewhere. A big part of, of our mission and my mission personally of, over the past uh, almost 20 years since we started the company was take normal mainstream PC computer users, which is almost everybody, and, and get them to build faster and faster PCs and get them to become enthusiasts. And I think that by streaming this on Overclocking TV, it's a great way to reach that audience and have a guy who's maybe built his first PC, watch some of these guys say, wow, I'd really like to do that. that that's what we'd like to have. Overclocking TV was absolutely important here, uh, critical. You guys 
doing this broadcast for us really made it interactive for our, our, comp or our uh, competitions that are happening out there in uh, the different cities. I think this is the way we should be doing more things in the future where if we're going to have an event like this, let's make sure we get it out there so everybody can see it. Uh, I don't want to go to YouTube four months from now and find somebody's cell phone video of this event, right? I want to be able to either watch it live or be able to watch it very soon thereafter. Uh, video of it and I, I think you guys provided a great service for this. We plan on promoting things like this more in the future because we think it it, it gets you to come and give your best foot forward. Uh, you win or go home, right? Number one gets something, number two does not. Uh, it brings the best people out because they all think they can win. The guy who thinks he might only get third, he doesn't show up because he's not going to get recognized. But the people who think they can win, they will all show up and they will all push hard. As you saw down there, they all posted or a bunch of people posted just a low benchmark just to say I'm there. And then other people just started trying to win and beat that and beat that and beat that. So we think with the money on the board and only first place wins, we will get the people to push harder and get them to go for a, a higher benchmark. The, the cash prizes, if you talk to a lot of these guys down there, uh, it generates a lot of excitement and a lot of motivation for these guys. So so I, I think that'll continue. I mean, certainly, I mean, we're, we'll be looking at, at at how this event went, how people enjoyed it, um, whether the overclockers liked it, and, and certainly look at doing something again similar in the future. We, it, it's funny, so as far as encouraging LN2 or encouraging air, if you're getting LN2, you can probably afford to buy an extra CPU if you blow that one up, right? Uh, LN2 is expensive. It's not that we encourage LN2, but we encourage the overall enthusiast market, and we know a lot of them are going to use LN2. Uh, the majority of people obviously are going to be on air or sealed liquid uh, that while we don't tell you to go overclock your cpu and there are various reasons we don't do that we obviously enable that so you can go do it um, i always say it's like a car they don't tell you you can drive 100 miles an hour but a lot of cars go that fast right with our cpu since we can't test them at the different frequencies up there uh, we don't say 100 percent do it but we we encourage it and say, whatever you can get, go get. We would love to see more people do LN2 because as you can see from this event, LN2 is exciting. The different things we can do, just pouring it in the pot is a good time. So uh, LN2 is fun. We wish more people would do it.